All right, last time we talked about how many calories it takes to burn one pound of fat. How many calories you, on average you burn on a normal day when you sit around and don't do anything. And what the difference is between the different levels of intake and the different levels of calorie expenditure that you have. So let's try and stick with those same numbers for this example. So let's say on average a person burns 1600 calories. Now that's just by being alive. So sitting around, just like last time, staring at the wall, just breathing. Every time you're breathing, even when you're sleeping, you're still burning calories. So let's say that you burn 1,600. Now let's say you come in and you want to lose weight, gain a little muscle, feel better. Say you want to lose 20 pounds. What I want to do is see what you've been doing nutritionally. So I'm going to give you a sheet that looks kind of like this. And I'm going to track it online so it looks kind of like this. A little hard to see, kind of far away. But what I want to do is see the first time you eat, the second time you eat, the third, fourth, fifth time you eat, and then maybe a little protein before bed. Then we're going to break it down into how many calories, how much fat, how much sugar, how much carbs, and how much protein. Now I've got a pretty good idea what's in most stuff nutritionally, but I want you to also. I want you to see it. I want you to put the work into it, because the more you see it, the more you understand it, the more you understand what's good and what's bad, and when we go back over it, why it is what it is, it's gonna make more sense to you when you're not with me, because I'm not gonna follow you around every day. I mean, I could. But so what we got, let's say, we'll set you up to start with 1,200 calories. Your expenditure, just by doing nothing, is 1,600. I wanna see you bring in, through food, 1,250 calories. So we'll put that right here, 1,250. Now remember, it's got to be evenly spaced out, good nutrition, just like this, first time, second time, third, fourth, fifth. It's not the old traditional breakfast, lunch, and dinner with some stuff. It's all consistent nutrition, because that's what your body wants to run the way it needs to. Your body's like a machine. You can't put gas in your car one time and expect to drive it to Florida. You got to keep putting fuel in it the whole way. Same thing, your body every day is like a trip to Florida. You gotta keep putting gas in it for it to run the way it wants to, for it to run the way that you want it to, so that you can look and feel the way you want to. Have enough energy to make it through the day, perform better, play with your kids. Whatever it is that you do, just through the nutrition is gonna make such a big difference. So with your 1,250 calories, like we talked about before, macros are broke down between protein, calories are from, come from carbs, Calories come from fat. So in one gram of protein, you've got four calories. In one gram of carbs, you've got four calories. In one gram of fat, you have nine calories. So you, I want you to be around 1,250 for the whole day. So we'll divide that by five meals to start. First meal, second meal, third meal, fourth, fifth meal. So 1,250 divided by five, get you about 250 calories per meal. So that's where we're going to be. We're going to be at 250 every meal. There's no snacks. There's no breakfast. It's just 250 calories every time you put food or liquid or anything in your body. If you drink it, inject it, or chew on it, 1,250 calories is the number we're going to shoot for to help you look and feel the way you want to. So now I know how much we want per meal. But how do you figure out how much of what to get from where? Here's how it works. I want to get 50% of your calories from protein. I want to get 30% of your calories from carbs, and I want to get 20% of your calories from fat. So if we get half of this number, 50% from protein, you're going to be at about 125. Let me get a different one. If we get half of this number, half of the 250 from protein, you're going to be at about 125. If we get 30% of that number, that's going to be 75. And 20% is 50. So 125 calories are coming from protein, 75 calories are coming from carbs, and 50 calories are coming from fat. Still, doesn't make a whole lot of sense yet, but we can break it down because we know, we know the formula, so we can figure this out. So with your calories, if there's four calories per gram, so let's divide four by 125, we're gonna get about 31. 
Let's take 75 divided by 4. That's going to equal 19 grams per meal. And with the fat, if we do 50 divided by 9, we'll round it up a little bit. We're going to get 6 grams of fat per meal. So now every time you log your food, these are the nutritional numbers that we want to shoot for. So when you're logging it in your MyFitnessPal, when you put it up here and you put the numbers in it, or at the end of the day when we're looking at your sheet, hopefully every meal is split out like that. And that's where we're starting. That's not the end of it. That's not the perfect thing for everybody, but it's a good place for most people to start. So once we can do this five times a day, now we can get back into saying this is good, this is good, this is bad, this is bad, let's change this. And then it becomes a lot easier. So when you're going through, when you're planning out our meals, when we're prepping our meals for, say we cook on Sunday, now we've got food for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, when we portion them out, we're gonna weigh them out so this is the nutrition we get from them. Next time we'll talk about a little more planning, a little more portioning, how I prep my food, what I bring, how I bring it. We'll try and make it as easy as we can. If you have any questions, let me know. Send me a message on Facebook. Check out the website at www.transformrockford.com and let me know what I can do to help you.